Welcome to this edition of Entrepreneur's Edge TV. I'm host Janice McLean, and I have to tell you, even though I think I'm a rock star entrepreneur, today I caught up with some really unique and interesting entrepreneurs and small business starters at the University of Baltimore Startup Maryland Tour. And when we come back, we'll introduce you to some of those entrepreneurs today and see who you think and who you want to vote for as your best. Stay tuned. We'll be back. Motorists can't do much about the price of gas, but they can control how much gas they use by following some simple vehicle maintenance steps. Keep tires properly inflated and gain a mile or two per gallon. Replace dirty or clogged air filters to improve gas mileage by as much as 10%. Get a tune-up to keep your car running at peak efficiency. For a free copy of the Car Care Council's Car Care Guide, or for more information, visit carcare.org. A contest that helps aspiring writers get a much-needed break has been the starting point for several successful careers. The Writers of the Future contest, started by best-selling author L. Ron Hubbard, now awards cash prizes and royalties of over $30,000. This year's winners came from countries as diverse as Taiwan, Australia, Sweden, Poland, Canada, and the U.S. to attend a week-long workshop taught by contest judges. Past winners have published over 750 novels. For more information, visit writersofthefuture.com. Sweeten the season with tailgate treasures and after-game treats. Fans will love mini football-shaped rice cereal treats created with cookie cutters and piped-on decorations. Or go for the big win version molded in a first-in-ten football pan. Cover all bases with sporting fun cupcakes. Decorations highlighting various sports can be fielded in green icing pull-out grass. Customize with team colors and players' numbers on Jersey-licious cookies. The punch, cut, decorate method makes it easy. For more everyday celebration ideas, visit Wilton.com. We put out the word to the entire student body, said one week, get us a one paragraph pitch on your new business, your new venture idea. They started to trickle in, we got to 16, we thought that was great. When it dust settled, we had 51. Phenomenal. Really exciting. We was hard work to narrow that down to 12. A group of judges did that. We then narrowed it down to six. Those six will be doing their presentations twice today. Our six judges are all successful entrepreneurs in the greater Baltimore area. Let me introduce them to you. It's Ed Leonard Appen, who I've already acknowledged, Stu Silver, Lily Bankford, Jonathan Schwartz, Susan Katz, and Margaret Wilson. Well, thank you. Across Maryland, University of Maryland, pitch one, take two. Hello, I am Isaac Schleifer and I'm the co-founder of Raffle Ready. Pitch across Maryland, University of Baltimore, pitch number two, take one. Hello, my name is Jacob Goldberg and today I'm going to be presenting my new business model called Radiant Road. Pitch number three. Hi, I'm Matthew Taylor, co-founder and chief of design at Fund the Republic. Pitch across Maryland, University of Baltimore, pitch number four. Hey, my name is Austin Cohen, and the name of my business is InstaHeal. Pitch across Maryland, University of Baltimore, pitch number five. Hi, people in the internet. My name is Benjamin Briscoe Bell IV, and I'm uh, representing Smushed Incorporated. University of Baltimore, pitch number six. My name is Kimberly Brownlee and my business pitch is to open a bakery here in Baltimore, Maryland that specializes in vegan and gluten-free baked goods.
Motorists can't do much about the price of gas, but they can control how much gas they use by following some simple vehicle maintenance steps. Keep tires properly inflated and gain a mile or two per gallon. Replace dirty or clogged air filters to improve gas mileage by as much as 10%. Get a tune-up to keep your car running at peak efficiency. For a free copy of the Car Care Council's Car Care Guide, or for more information, visit carcare.org. A contest that helps aspiring writers get a much-needed break has been the starting point for several successful careers. The Writers of the Future contest, started by best-selling author L. Ron Hubbard, now awards cash prizes and royalties of over $30,000. This year's winners came from countries as diverse as Taiwan, Australia, Sweden, Poland, Canada, and the U.S. to attend a week-long workshop taught by contest judges. Past winners have published over 750 novels. For more information, visit writersofthefuture.com. Sweeten the season with tailgate treasures and after-game treats. Fans will love mini football-shaped rice cereal treats created with cookie cutters and piped-on decorations. Or go for the big win version molded in a first-in-ten football pan. Cover all bases with sporting fun cupcakes. Decorations highlighting various sports can be fielded in green icing pull-out grass. Customize with team colors and players' numbers on Jersey-licious cookies. The punch, cut, decorate method makes it easy. For more everyday celebration ideas, visit Wilton.com. We are back with more from Startup America at the University of Baltimore. I am so excited about this. We know how much I love talking about entrepreneurship, and today I'm definitely in my element. We're talking to entrepreneurs and people who are creating businesses, and today we have with us Jonathan Schwartz, who is with Under Armour, and he's going to talk to us about being a judge for the competition that they had at the University of Baltimore. Mr. Schwartz, nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. Now, talk about how you got involved with this competition sure. at the University of Baltimore. Sure. So let me start off by saying I'm actually a graduate of UB back in 92 with a finance degree and I also got my MBA here so I love the university and everything that it does. I'm on the Dean's Advisory Board, Darlene Smith who runs the business school and uh, as a board member we're trying to make sure that we stay involved with the school and when she talked about the entrepreneurial program and Startup Maryland and the things that she wanted to do, being from Under Armour, a company that just lives and breathes entrepreneurship, I couldn't wait to get involved. It's oh, a wonderful wow. thing. Wow, okay. So what did you think about the uh, students that, that entered the competition and, and what idea sticks out to you as a really, really good one? You know, that's an easy one to answer. Number one, all 51 entrants and particularly the six finalists, I can't, I, I can't applaud them enough. It's great to do what they do. And probably the one that sticks out to me the most is an, is an idea called Smushed that we're going to hear about. It's an ice cream store with cookies and you get an ice cream sandwich and all that stuff mm. and I love the idea wow. and I actually mentioned it to, to one of my daughters who who basically said, that's awesome, when can we go? So you know it's a good idea when that target market is already excited about it. Okay, listen, thank you so much for You're spending welcome. a few minutes talking with it's us. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. All right, stay tuned guys, we'll be back. Fixing up your deck may be easier than you think. Construction expert Joe Sains says you need a versatile tool to get the job done right. With as many cutting blades, the Bosch Multi-X is well suited for the job. With a wood cutting blade, remove a board section between the joists to allow access. Change to a metal cutting blade to cut the nail or screw fastener. Measure the opening, cut a new piece of treated lumber, and attach with a galvanized fastener. For more tips, visit BeThePro.com. And like Startup Maryland, we're trying to educate and we're trying to connect our emerging and established entrepreneurs to resources and opportunities.
opportunities to accelerate sustainable revenue and growth. At UB, entrepreneurship and entrepreneurial culture are highly regarded components of student learning. In the classroom and through internships, networking events, and campus life. Our students have many ideas for businesses and want to make a contribution to their community as well as to the economy. They bring energy, imagination, and know-how to the university, as well as a lot of great questions about what makes a business real. You know, um, those of us who really care about entrepreneurship, we tend to focus on what is new. Uh, we're all about new venture creation. Uh, what I'd like to talk about for just a second is what is old and what is established, which is the University of Baltimore and its legacy in entrepreneurship. Um, a lot of people forget that this university was started by entrepreneurs. Um, and it has built on that legacy uh, to create an alumni base of, of people who hit way above their weight in entrepreneurship. If you think about the alumni of this university, of what they've done in terms of new venture creation both in this state and around the world, uh, it's a very impressive accomplishment. And of course that attracts a lot of interesting supporters and I'm looking at some of the, the judges uh, who uh, are themselves accomplished local entrepreneurs who could be doing frankly a lot of other things but they choose to be associated with this university because of our commitment to entrepreneurship. Motorists can't do much about the price of gas but they can't control how much gas they use by following some simple vehicle maintenance steps. Keep tires properly inflated and gain a mile or two per gallon. Replace dirty or clogged air filters to improve gas mileage by as much as 10%. Get a tune-up to keep your car running at peak efficiency. For a free copy of the Car Care Council's Car Care Guide or for more information, visit carcare.org. A contest that helps aspiring writers get a much needed break has been the starting point for several successful careers. The Writers of the Future contest, started by best-selling author L. Ron Hubbard, now awards cash prizes and royalties of over $30,000. This year's winners came from countries as diverse as Taiwan, Australia, Sweden, Poland, Canada, and the U.S. to attend a week-long workshop taught by contest judges. Past winners have published over 750 novels. For more information, visit writersofthefuture.com. Sweeten the season with tailgate treasures and after-game treats. Fans will love mini football-shaped rice cereal treats created with cookie cutters and piped-on decorations. Or go for the big win version molded in a first-and-ten football pan. Cover all bases with sporting fun cupcakes. Decorations highlighting various sports can be fielded in green icing pull-out grass. Customize with team colors and players' numbers on Jersey-licious cookies. The punch, cut, decorate method makes it easy. For more everyday celebration ideas, visit Wilton.com. It's the Case Foundation, as in Steve Case, AOL, and the Kauffman Foundation, one of the largest entrepreneurship foundations in the world. They came together and said, we need to ignite entrepreneurship and, and bring together the ecosystem to help entrepreneurs create more jobs across the country. Not, not a bad goal. What do you think? Pretty good goal, right? Yeah. yeah. Jobs aren't created by small business, and entrepreneurs are leading the way with that, and that's why we're here. But the Regions Initiative, they said, okay, different regions in the country, America's pretty diverse, everybody's got different needs, and so they launched this regional initiative. Um, we'd love to say it came with funding and resources. It comes with resources, but not so much funding, so it has to be led by entrepreneurs. Absolutely. For entrepreneurs, by entrepreneurs, uh, so we can be creative and figure out how to, like, I don't know, get a bus. And, and Julie's <laughs> humble. She is an engineer by trade, a serial entrepreneur. I've been a serial entrepreneur and currently afflicted as CEO of a startup cloud company. So we're living the dream on, on and on. But um, we're just delighted to absorb what is going on around this great state. When we kind of had the idea for this pitch across Maryland, it was, well, why not? 
what we need in Maryland is some connective tissue. So when we started to develop Startup Maryland and, and really got the ideas of what we were going to be as an entity, we didn't want to replicate what's already being done well, because there's a lot of it. We've discovered a lot more of it as we've gotten out there. But we really wanted to be an organization that could kind of be nimble enough to go in between the cracks and connect the groups, connect the entrepreneurs with academia, with an economic development agencies, with the investment community, with your peers. The biggest thing that we're finding is that entrepreneurs, when they get in a room with each other, which on the Eastern Shore, they told us it doesn't happen that much. They're out you know, in the field doing research on their own. But we did town hall meetings for entrepreneurs before we decided what we wanted to be as Startup Maryland. And that was probably the best decision that we made early on because we absorbed it directly by and from the entrepreneur. Market research 101. In front of your Ask customer. your primary market research. Ask your customer, what do you need? Yep. So we, we did. The four things. Yeah, so we, we got in a room and we asked the entrepreneurs, what do you need in your words, in your terms? And there were some frustrations, some folks had had success and they wanted to share that with their peers. About 25 things got thrown up on the whiteboard. We said, hold on, wait a minute. We're entrepreneurs. We got no budget. We need to focus, so we honed it in on four areas. No surprise, access to capital was the first one. So we have some mechanisms that we're going to put that into Show play. me the money. Show me the money. Number two was basically resource mapping. So part of what we're doing on this tour is we couldn't do it on our own. We would love to, but we didn't have the budget for it. We didn't have the, really the resources to do it. So the tour leaders, University of Baltimore, along with other corporate sponsors and EDAs and every county in this, in this state have gotten on board to co-host these tour stops that we're doing. And we couldn't do it without you. The other two, really, awareness and celebration. That's what the bus outside is about. It's basically, you know, someone audacious enough to put a yellow bus on the road with a Maryland flag wrapped around it from Maryland Pride. Doesn't happen all that often. And as far as we know, it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, so, uh, and putting a video studio on the back of it so you guys can shine in the spotlight. That was number three. And number four is, where's the best money to be found? Anybody well, want to guess? Best money you can get for your business. Cool. Don't say free. Someone said that yesterday. There's no free money. Customers! Customers. Revenue. Not Should be your first capital. choice. Customers. Yes. So corporate connections. And we're very fortunate with the national support of Startup America reaching out to organizations like the New York Stock Exchange. We at the Maryland launch at University of Maryland they announced a new program called Big Startup, where they are reaching out to their member companies on the exchange and asking them what they need in innovations, and then connecting them with the regional uh, partners of Startup America, and Startup Maryland being one, to find the entrepreneurs that are doing interesting things, tech transfer and innovation. Those are the best partners that you can find. That's right. Motorists can't do much about the price of gas, but they can control how much gas they use by following some simple vehicle maintenance steps. Keep tires properly inflated and gain a mile or two per gallon. Replace dirty or clogged air filters to improve gas mileage by as much as 10%. Get a tune-up to keep your car running at peak efficiency. For a free copy of the Car Care Council's Car Care Guide, or for more information, visit carcare.org. A contest that helps aspiring writers get a much-needed break has been the starting point for several successful careers. The Writers of the Future contest, started by best-selling author L. Ron Hubbard, now awards cash prizes and royalties of over $30,000. This year's winners came from countries as diverse as Taiwan, Australia, Sweden, Poland, Canada, and the U.S. to attend a week-long workshop taught by contest judges. Past winners have published over 750 novels. For more information, visit writersofthefuture.com. Sweeten the season with tailgate treasures and after-game treats. Fans will love mini football-shaped rice cereal treats created with cookie cutters and piped-on decorations. Or go for the big win version molded in a first-and-ten football pan. Cover all bases with sporting fun cupcakes. Decorations highlighting various sports can be fielded in green icing pull-out grass. Customize with team colors and players' numbers on Jersey-licious cookies. The punch, cut, decorate method makes it easy. For more everyday celebration ideas, visit Wilton.com.
back with more from our Startup America tour. And we're actually with the guys who brought this tour to Maryland. We're with Mike Binko and Julie Lencer Kirk, who with Startup America Maryland. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey. Welcome are, to Entrepreneurs Edge oh, TV. Thank this you. Great. Thanks I have for to out. tell you, you guys inspire me. I mean, even though I think I'm like the entrepreneur rock star, right. you guys are like, wow. Well, we feed off of this type of enthusiasm. That's right. But thank you for coming out and being a big fan of entrepreneurship. Thank you. Tell us how you got involved and what brought you to the University of Baltimore today. Well, it's a long story, I guess. Uh, well, not that long. We've only, sure. yeah, we have, we've mm -hmm. only been doing Startup Maryland for, we officially launched in March, so we're really only into a half a year of doing it formally. But the end of 2011 was when Startup America, the national organization, announced a regions program. And the regions are basically an outcropping where they realized at the state or community level or regional level, some of the needs for entrepreneurship are different across the, the U.S. So uh, we in Maryland, a group of serial op entrepreneurs got together, Julie, an uh, engineer by trade, and exited out of companies. Uh, I'm currently afflicted as CEO of a startup company, so I'm still toiling in the trenches as part of my day job. We got together and created an organizing board, so we're governed by a board of uh, six active uh, or recent serial entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Okay, now Julie, let's talk about your background and how you got involved and how you and Mike kind of hooked up. Well, I think, let's yeah, say be that. careful. Okay. <laughs> No, no, we um, actually, I think Mike and I, as he said, there was an, an organizing board, and uh, I am now the executive director for the Maryland Center for Entrepreneurship, and we're based in Columbia, Maryland. Yay! Out of Howard County, doing great stuff. Yeah, and we're doing great stuff. And I was hired with the uh, with the mission of igniting entrepreneurship and connecting entrepreneurs with resources. And when I went to the meeting for Startup Maryland, they said, "Well, this is what we're trying to do." I'm like, "Hello, that's what I'm here to do." Um, and I think Mike and I just ended up being the two that um, had the passion that we're driving. And uh, I mean, the other entrepreneurs who are on the board are yeah. very, you know, active and very supportive. I guess we just had more. I don't know that we had more time. I wouldn't or say more, we had more time. I was just saying. You we know, just got. We just stepped up. Maryland, and got to do it. Get Pride, stepped up. Maryland entrepreneurship is something I'm personally passionate about. I know with you know in the role of MC, in the role of MCE, you're also kind of you know I know you're looking at what the next thing is that you're going to do it yourself. So it's kind of Someday. being around entrepreneurs is inspiring. Number one, we hope to inspire by having been there and done that. Lessons learned. Right. We failed. <laughs> Scars. Yes. But right. it's inspiring for me, and you know, I know you feel the same way. And and we're just blown away by what we're seeing on this this pitch across it's Maryland. Amazing. And, and what we're absorbing. Now tell, tell me, I'm going to ask both of you the same question. What business stood out for you um, more so than any other? I know oh, I we selected mind, but a winner, ahead. but I'm here today, today at the University mm -hmm. of Baltimore. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I was busy organizing things, so I didn't get to really hear all the pitches. So Mike's probably the better one to answer that so question. So I absorbed them firsthand being behind the camera. Um, I mean, they're all great. And, and you know, the one thing for University of Baltimore is kudos to the group who co-hosted this because we yeah. asked the tour leaders to kind of help us party. Yeah, help us qualify some of the entrepreneurs in your midst and winnow it down to folks that you know you want to have a good face on the University of Baltimore. And every one of them is outstanding, and every one of their businesses is likely to succeed. Um, but you know, there were 51 companies that came out. You know, some of them probably earlier stages than others, or, or you know, trying to work through how they're they're going to present their business. So it may not have been the ideal you know situation to be in front of the camera, uh, and it's not right for everybody at, at every right. stage. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know, but one that jumped out at me just because as we're planning this final party on the 28th, uh, the last now, stop for step. Now, where's that final party going to be Post Maryweather Pavilion. Post, so, baby. centrally located, Howard County, mm -hmm. in Maryland. It's like all, everybody can get there within you know, a couple hours. Mm -hmm. Free event, oh, live yeah. music. <laughs> one of the okay. topics that we want to kind of highlight, because we're asking the entrepreneurs as we go around the state, who's looking at crowdfunding mm -hmm. as a way to fund your business? That's a good way to kind of get across that gap. Mm -hmm. So, the um, gentleman who pitched on crowdfunding has a business idea around doing that, that jumped out at me. And we we're going to invite him to be there as a part of the formal presentation on 28th as one of our resident entrepreneurs who's looking at crowdfunding and building a business around crowdfunding wow, brokerage. Wow, because that so. is really going through the roof now. It That's is. all you hear is crowdfunding, crowdfunding. And sometimes, it's, you know, the lines are a little blurred when it comes to that. Yeah. But when you say connecting people with resources, I think that's really great because most of the time for entrepreneurs, the hardest part is figuring out who to call, 
what you need and how to get them all Where, how, together. And, and who? Yeah. Even that, that there are people that can help right. you with that. I know when I started my business, gosh, probably 17 years ago, I was on my own. I mean, yeah, yeah, I was 10. Doesn't show that. Good. Yeah, I was 10. <laughs> I love it. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, but I didn't have. A, I mean, you know, and, and that's very entrepreneurial. I mean, yeah, a lot of us we just kind of you just do it. You just, just hunker down, do, do it. But had I had resources available or known what the resources were, I, I mean, it would have been much easier. I probably would have slept. No, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> But you're right. We but it, it. it might have been a little bit easier. Yeah. It might have yeah. been a little bit more scalable. I don't well, know. Listen, we're going to wrap this up. The people want to get in touch with you guys either through Startup America, Startup Maryland, StartupMaryland.org, Startup 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 or Startup MD. You, you get it. Um, and yeah, they can go there. But you guys also <laughs> have your own <laughs> hats that you wear as sure. well. So if you want to give out a oh, website, great. Uh, you're a cloud track, right? Yes, yeah, so I'm CEO and president of a great startup, uh, Cloud Track with a K. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing some interesting things that are you know putting compliance behind data and process in the cloud. So come check us out at Cloud. Wow. Okay. And, and I work for Howard County Economic Development Authority, so it's hceda.org, and I run the Maryland Center for Entrepreneurship. If you're in Columbia, stop by. We have an incubator. We have lots of entrepreneurial programs, some free, some really low cost, but all about helping you to GSD, which is get stuff done. <laughs> get to that next level. And, and one, one more thing before we go. We have got to get a shot of these shoes. Now, Julie is great for candy apple red, but you've got to check out Mike's shoes. And Julie is going to have her own shoe as well and I'm telling you they're so neat so Maryland right. Pride and guys I have to say thank you it was my thank pleasure you. meeting you today I know we'll be bumping into thank each you. other again you know around the world friends of entrepreneurship. Of yep. absolutely That's and so stay tuned guys we're going to come back and wrap up and tell you who our winner was today we'll be back Motorists can't do much about the price of gas, but they can control how much gas they use by following some simple vehicle maintenance steps. Keep tires properly inflated and gain a mile or two per gallon. Replace dirty or clogged air filters to improve gas mileage by as much as 10%. Get a tune-up to keep your car running at peak efficiency. For a free copy of the Car Care Council's Car Care Guide, or for more information, visit carcare.org. A contest that helps aspiring writers get a much-needed break has been the starting point for several successful careers. The Writers of the Future contest, started by best-selling author L. Ron Hubbard, now awards cash prizes and royalties of over $30,000. This year's winners came from countries as diverse as Taiwan, Australia, Sweden, Poland, Canada, and the U.S. to attend a week-long workshop taught by contest judges. Past winners have published over 750 novels. For more information, visit writersofthefuture.com. Sweeten the season with tailgate treasures and after-game treats. Fans will love mini football-shaped rice cereal treats created with cookie cutters and piped-on decorations. Or go for the big win version molded in a first-in-ten football pan. Cover all bases with sporting fun cupcakes. Decorations highlighting various sports can be fielded in green icing pull-out grass. Customize with team colors and players' numbers on Jersey-licious cookies. The punch, cut, decorate method makes it easy. For more everyday celebration ideas, visit Wilton.com. Thank everybody, thank the judges, everybody put together this event, and as uh, Professor White said, I was in this class, and if you'd like 10%, he owes me some money for the past year, so. <laughs> this segment of Entrepreneur's Edge TV. I'm host Janice McLean and I know that you got something out of this segment if you are anybody who's in entrepreneurship or small business because I certainly did. I really enjoyed all of our guests. I enjoyed you know watching the interviews and seeing the uh, businesses compete to, to be the best winner and um, stay tuned as we go on our journey about entrepreneurship and if you want to find out more about what we're doing go to www.jmdentertainmentgroup.com. Thank you and we'll see you next time.
Let's <laughs> go.